here on the beautiful marine lake in Southport enjoying the spectacle that is the West Lancashire Yacht Club 24-hour race. The 24-hour race is literally a 24-hour race. It's quite unique in a sense that it is not just two people or one person sailing against others. It's a team event. The team might be eight or ten people going through shifts during the 24 hours. You look forward to it in the calendar because it's the 24-hour race. You clear your calendar for it and it is a case of everybody is welcome and you just want to you want to be there yeah, you want to be in it's, it it's just like a really nice community the sailing community is always super lovely we're quite lucky this year as well because it's it's fairly full moon so there's a bit more light in the sky we've also got the southport fireworks this weekend as well so if anyone's lucky enough to sail between eight and nine the fireworks will be going off across the lake as well which is great <laughs> It's half past ten in the morning on day two, and there's an hour and a half left to go. Most people had a long night. My team very kindly gave me the, uh, the graveyard shift of 2 till 4 a.m., so I am also feeling in need of a coffee. So obviously going to the Olympics is all very well and good, but Southport 24-hour race, I've been told by many people, is a bit of a rite of passage, and I've never done a 24-hour race. I've always heard about them. I've always thought, how does that work? How does you know changing in and out work? How does the timing work? And uh, it's been really interesting to see really nice atmosphere and uh, I'm really glad I came. The 24 hour race is absolutely first class. The, uh, the atmosphere is nothing like anything I've ever been and done before. This is my first sailing event. I learned to sail four months ago. I was expecting it to be completely pitch black and I would have to be like feeling for my uh, helm but it was all good. It was quite fun having to spot boats coming past. It's been probably something I'll remember for the rest of my life. We're really pleased to say, after a really long time, many, many years of trying, <laughs> we, we've won. So we're really, really pleased. It was a classic 24 hour race. Bit of all the conditions. It was great to come back to Southport. We all wanted to see the event come back again. The event uh, is in its 53rd year. However, the, the 52nd year was in 2019. Uh, it was a consequence of, of COVID, which was very sad. We were very keen to get this uh, back up and running. Uh, however, unfortunately, the whole 24 hour appeared like it was going to uh, fall into a heap, never to come back. We eventually managed to knuckle down and ask all of these participating boats if they would offer uh, members of their sailing club to volunteer to do things like rescue and scoring, uh, first aid, um, and they have come in their droves. This is a, a bucket list event for, for loads of dinghy sailors up and down the, the land and possibly overseas as well. It's an opportunity for, for clubs from across the country to come together to race a dinghy for 24 hours, changing the cruise over, keeping the boat going, dealing with all sorts of challenges, adversity, and having plenty of fun. There's a big social scene that goes alongside it as well. I think events are a really nice way to bring the sailing community together. I'd, I'd urge sailors, clubs, to see what they can organize to bring their team together to events like this, or maybe to consider setting something up similar. And it's a real opportunity for the sailing community to come together, together on the water. That's what we're doing here, and it's, it's great fun.